This is One on One. Brought to you by Englewood Hospital and Medical Center. We are pleased to be uh, joined by Monty Franklin. He's a comedian, uh, native of uh, Australia. And uh, he's part of a Rob Schneider Netflix hit called The Real Rob. What's that all about, by the way? Real Rob? Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a look at Rob Schneider's life, an exaggerated look at his life and the stories and things that he, he, uh, he does in his daily <laughs> routine. It's obviously a comedy. Yes. If people don't know who he is. Rob Schneider that? is... Juice Bigelow. Yeah. Rob Schneider. He's, he's done 17 movies with Adam Sandler. If you don't know the name, you look at the face and you go, I know that guy. Of is course he, you do. Is Rob, Rob Schneider's not copy. He's not copy. copy yeah, the copy he's guy. Copy guy. Yeah. That's horrible that I think that. Well, that, that's that th SNL. That's before my time. Well, so I don't, all right. I don't so associate. make the point, all right? No, yeah. no, everybody knows I'm older than you, so, but that's how I remember. Well, I didn't want to point it out, but now, I never, now I'll leave we're it talking about it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and by the way, the other, you, can we run a clip? Let's run a clip, all right? What's the name again? Real Rob. Real Rob, let's run a clip. Yeah. Netflix. I'm ashamed of you. Get out of there. Whoa! Oh, it's disgusting. Kind of Ryan Grossling, stop it, stop it. Bad, bad homeless Ryan Gosling. Wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. You play a homeless Ryan Gosling? Yeah, what happens in the story is he, <laughs> his wife really wants Ryan Gosling to perform uh, for this party that she's throwing. And Rob uh, books him, but he runs out of money and can't pay him. And then he sees a homeless guy on the street, me, yeah. that kind of looks like Ryan Gosling, and he <laughs> thinks he can fool his wife, so he gets his makeup lady to turn me into Ryan Gosling and takes me to the party and I... Well, you'll have to watch the show to see what happens, but <laughs> it's this pretty is, funny. What a great <laughs> premise. I know. When they pitched it to, I'm sorry for driving. When they pitched it to you, what did you think? Well, they, this is how it went because Patricia, Rob's wife, called me um, Ryan Gos almost from the first time that she saw me because she thought I almost looked right, like Ryan Gosling. What'd you so, do? Well, almost. I like to think that I look like hungover Ryan Gosling, so <laughs> it's just a little bit lower, but yeah. that's fine. But she's always called me this, so uh, she wrote me into the script uh, with that in mind. So it was from it was well before this show was made that they decided that I was some sort of B-grade Ryan Gosling. No, no, don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> well, by the way, how did, how did Schneider meet you? Uh, the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. In I Hollywood. was performing there. And he was just about to go on tour in Australia. And he saw me and he liked my act and said, can I take you out for coffee and ask you some local references about Australia? I'm about to go there on tour. And I said, of course, you can do, take me out to coffee. You can, you can wine and dine me, whatever you like. And then um, uh, he took me to Ohio, Dayton, Ohio for the weekend. And I opened up for him doing stand up. So how it works is I do like 20, 25 minutes and he does an hour. So that's the show that we do. And I've worked with him for two years doing that. Connected right away. Yeah, he just, he liked me and, and we got along and he took me on tour in Australia and I, I got to perform at the Sydney Opera House, which for me, Not bad. from Australia, that's huge. Yeah, you know, you, you, you've said some things that I need to pursue because it's what I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a serious journalist and you've said things that need to be understood. You've said that there is a significant difference between Australian audiences and American audiences when it comes to comedy. What exactly do you mean by that, sir? What I mean is American audiences are better than Australian <laughs> audiences, for one. Well, <laughs> it on. wasn't bad. This is, this is how I put this it, This includes right? New Jersey, I just want to be clear. New Jersey's one of the best. I play out in West Nyack and I love it. First of all, West Nyack's not even in New Jersey. Well, what do I know? I don't know what's going on. New York, New Jersey, same thing <laughs> to you? What? It's in New Jersey, isn't it? It is not. It's in New York, but go ahead. I think ahead. you're fine it's in New Jersey. By the way, we're seen in both places. It doesn't make a difference. But no, do the, new, do, the new, do the American, Australian thing. Seriously, do you think... Is, is, this is what, the, this is what it is. Do we think you're funnier? Uh, not necessarily. What you are is more respectful than Australian audiences. And I'm not, I'm not uh, knocking Australian audiences, but Australians have this mentality that if you're on stage... Everyone in Australia is pretty funny and larrikin sort of guy. So if you're on stage trying to make jokes and stuff, they've got this attitude like, oh, you think you're funny, do you? And they're automatically on the back foot. 
Whereas Americans are like, oh, performance. I know what they're doing. I'm going to give them a go and see what they're about before I make a judgment on them. We're so, more open. Sorry for interrupting. Are we yes. more open minded? Uh, y yeah, but it, it's not as, uh, as clean cut as that. Australians are usually just drunk and rowdy and want to yell at you and go, <laughs> you're not funny, like that. Before they even find out if you're funny. Uh, of course, why not? Okay, so I, I'm curious about this. So in Australia, when you were dealing with that, yeah. what would you do? Would you I'd take them on? back. You take them on. It's the best uh, schooling I could possibly have for stand-up. Now I come here and if anyone yells anything out, are you kidding? I've, I've, done this for 12 years with rooms full of drunken Australians yelling at me. I know what to do. So it was just perfect. It was a good breeding ground. It's you have a new good. pilot? Yeah, I'm, I made my own TV pilot. Talk about it. Or is oh, that wow. bad luck? I don't, I don't want to screw you up. Is that bad luck? No, no. It's a, I'll tell you what stage it's at right now. I, sure. uh, I've been working on this for two years. Started writing it with a writer friend of mine and um, spoke a lot with Rob Schneider about this. He's obviously very uh, knowledgeable and has helped me a lot along the way. And then I did a Kickstarter campaign, which is crowdfunding. Yeah. I had 344 backers, I raised $40,000, mm. and I made this whole production myself. And it, it cost more than that, but it wasn't a lot more. And I, I budgeted well and figured it out. And um, yeah, what we've, what we've got now is a, a half hour pilot and a two and a half minute um, teaser that we shop around and, and sell and someone picks it up. There's what's so many, about? what's it about? Yeah. The show is called The Manny. It's The Nanny Who's a Man. So the if Manny? The Manny. Where's it based? L.A. L.A. Go ahead. Keep talking. So if you remember the 90s sitcom The Nanny. Of course I do. I'm gonna, it's the easiest way to put it. It's just like that, but it's with an Australian coming into a rich Malibu household. Are you the Manny? I am the Manny. Comedy Cures. Yes. Talk about that and talk about our mutual friend. Our mutual friend, Saran. Um, Saren, sorry, she told me not to say Saran, yeah. and I, I said Saren it. Roth, Saren Roth, Rothberg. Rothberg. Yeah, she's and, great. Uh, yeah, she's the um, she's the uh, owner of um, Comedy Cures, and what they do tell is tell everyone what that organization does. Raises money. It 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 does performances. Great comedians like yourself. Absolutely, it brings in comedians and basically brings laughter into the people who need it. Sick people, cancer patients, into hospitals. She puts on a lot of shows, a lot of charity events. Brings in all sorts of comedians, famous or up and coming, or whoever she can find, and whoever has the time to do it, and uh, and just brightens up the day of people that need the sort of the. It's a great organization. It's really good. And, and, and by the way, tell everyone the I just I gave oh yeah. you the give everyone the, the the three words the key I just gave you that I never take that off. Comedycures.org. Live, no, love, laugh. Live, love, laugh. How'd you hook up with them? Well, I was doing a show at the Gotham Comedy Club here in New York, it's and great club. I had. Just flown in, done the show, it was one in the morning, it was after the show, and I realized I didn't have a hotel, and I went, oh. And so I'm out <laughs> on the street in New York, and then Saren came up to me and said, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm, I'm just trying to find a hotel. And she went, nonsense, you'll come and stay with me. And I'm sure my mother told me not to go and stay with strangers who yes. offer you rides in their car, but, you know, Saren is a nice lady. I thought, what's the worst thing that could she's happen? She's a wonderful lady. <laughs> yeah, she's great. So she took me to her house, which is here in New Jersey, I believe. Yes, I it get is. confused sometimes. Yes, in Bergen County. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> and um, I stayed the night, and she put me up. She fed me, and we, we talked, and she told me all about her charity and what she does. And, and I, you know, I loved everything she talked about and how that she had... Uh, Cancer in 1999, and she's yes. now in, uh, you know, fully um, in remission. She's fine. She's helping other people. Helping other people because of the experience she went Comedy through. Comedy cures. Yeah, it's good stuff. And it's fantastic. I ended up staying with her for three nights. I was only meant to stay for one. She's a wonderful person. <laughs> yeah. Leave it alone. Uh, are we showing a clip? What are we showing a clip from? The Manny. Oh, okay. This good. is the pilot that we hope uh, hits really big. Uh, and by yeah. the way, the Netflix thing again. What real Rob? Yeah, I'm asking you to plug it again. Tell everyone again. What's it called? Oh, Real Rob on Netflix. It's streaming right now. Check it out. I'm in the eighth episode. Okay, and so, Georgette, we're showing the uh, clip from The Manny. You are The Manny? This is my pilot that I made. Uh, you are not a B-grade Ryan Gosling. You are not. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, that. thank you. We appreciate it. No Let's take a look at it. It's good stuff. <laughs> How would you feel if I stayed with you guys? To help you with the kids. Derek. Uh, not Derek. Hey, Manny. Hey, Manny. What the hell is a Manny? I don't know, but we're getting one. <laughs> also brought to you by...
the Give Something Back Foundation, Seton Hall University, and by the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor.